Yo, 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 what's good, homies at home? That's just your boy RC here. Getting ready to get into this video by the rich is called 10 Shocking Side Effects from Everyday Technology. I think it's technology. Oh, everyday things. And you know what's a thumbnail for this? I've seen a cell phone and somebody's hands, and I'm like, bruh, I gotta react to this. If you've seen the thumbnail, you probably be like, WTF. Because that's what I was thinking. But let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm not going to waste much time with y'all jacking. Hopefully y'all enjoy it. Remember to smash that like button. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Share. Follow me on Twitter. Or RC underscore reacts. Follow me on Instagram. At RC reacts. Let's go ahead and hop into this right now. I love videos by the richest. I really do. There are things we use and do every day okay, that we yeah. have no idea can actually be bad for us. Really? From using your smartphone in bed to keeping a light on at night, the damage these things do can be irreversible. What? These are 10 everyday things I that use cause my computer and my phone effects. every day, so how is it going to affect me? Digital, digital photos. photos. How's that have you ever taken out your phone or digital camera to snap a few shots of what is happening around you and not been mm. able to recall what actually happened? Yeah. Studies have found that digital photos may be affecting our memory of events. What? People have started focusing on the photos they are taking and not what is happening around oh. them. Oh, oh, well, it has yeah, gotten that's true. so bad that many performers have banned their audience from taking photos during concerts because they believe it is taking away from, from the, show's the show's experience. experience. Not because I understand why they do that. Politeness. <sighs> Politeness can hurt. You would think that being polite could have <laughs> negative can't. side being effects. Polite can but have being polite can have negative side polite effects. Polite could turn <laughs> societies into violent and murderous chaos. There well, are yeah, many societies true. around the world that are considered very kind and even warm-hearted. Mm, warm well, the yeah. Kabusi from Papua New Guinea are known to be extremely friendly, but they also really? have a murder rate 50 times higher 50 than the, times United higher than the United States. Bruh. In a culture that prides okay. itself on being kind, when someone breaks this code, others tend to need to correct it by responding violently. It's like oh, they have a lot of pent-up yeah. aggression, and one slight move will make them completely lash out. True, true. Social, Social networks. networks. <laughs> There's okay, a link well, between yeah. your brain and your heart that is called the vagus nerve, and it may surprise you that social networks may be wearing it down. What? The vagus nerve is in charge of controlling your heartbeat and breathing. It has been shown to perform Bro. better with social Seriously. interaction, which seems perfect for social networking, but sadly, it is only affected by real by social, social interaction. interaction. Yeah. So if you are spending your nights on social media and not actually outside building real-life relationships, you might be doing damage to your heart. Well, then it looks like we need to go out and build up like Technology real social relationships. Bed. It's very crazy. common for people Technology. to use their phones and tablets before they go to sleep. I fall asleep. Other than the potential to get a black eye from dropping it on your face, using your handheld device in bed can wreak havoc oh. on your eye health. Well, yeah, that's There's a true. great risk of developing that's cataracts true. from the blue light for mobile devices. Doctors are starting to see patients in their mid-30s with eyes as cloudy as people in their 70s that have cataracts. What? Though there isn't definitive proof that there is a link Bruh. between blue light and cataracts, mm. the occurrence deserves further investigation. <laughs> conversation manners. In social wow. settings, it's always polite okay. to use good conversation manners, but these manners have different meanings to different sexes. Men and women tend to take different roles in conversations, and sometimes it can have a horrible effect on the women in the conversation as it hinders their viewpoints. True. Women approach True. conversations with an emphasis on listening, on listening and inclusiveness, and inclusiveness. while men yeah. tend to interrupt each interrupt other and each ignore turn-taking rules. Turn these conversation oh, yeah, manners are fine when these groups are talking to people of the same sex, but when they yeah. get together, women tend to stick to their conversation rules and have a need to maintain group harmony. By doing yeah. so, they unknowingly place themselves on a lower rung of the social ladder, and this That's can even up. happen when the women have actual higher social status than the men the they men are conversing with. with. Women are always video like, games. held on like lower tone poles. The question of whether video games video make games people make violent or violent. not has been a topic of research for decades. And you know what? That's not true. People make people violent, not video games. Now, if they emulate what they're doing in video games, it's because they think they can do it and get away with it like it is in video games. But that's not really happening. I mean, only people can, like, people need to be able to differentiate between gaming and real life. That's the thing.
For no definitive answers, there have been links that prove that video games do cause people to be violent. Because they the don't link comes from the fact dif video games are starting between to hinder gaming and real span, life. Which can cause them to lack impulse control, which can then possibly lead to violence. The fact that gamers have to think on their feet and usually shoot before thinking is a sign that they are losing impulse, losing control. impulse control. On the plus side, video games are showing that gamers are increasing are their visual, visual skills. skills yeah. So there's that. So it may have negative effects but has positive alarm effects clocks. too. Alarm clocks? How is that harmful? It's not uncommon for people to rely on alarm clocks alarm on weekdays clocks and sleep in on weekends, but yeah, the lack of routine true. can be bad for your health. The disruption from your natural sleep cycle can make your body perform poorer and may even increase the risk of obesity. Wow, Not only that, that's the crazy. sudden and unnatural way an alarm clock wakes you up can also be bad for your heart. Well, Waking up I mean, abruptly can cause your heart pressure to rise and put you in a full alert situation that can be dangerous, be dangerous for, for your health, health, especially when you wake up, yeah. Running. Running. Doctors are always telling us that staying fit staying and fit. eating healthy are great yeah, ways but to you don't extend your quality of life. Or but over sometimes, oh, it can get a that's little messy. Thing. I think that's what they're trying Many to say. people use running as their way to keep their heart in tip-top shape, but the impact it has on their body can leave them with a smelly accident in their shorts. The vibrations from running yeah. cause your GI tract to wake up and perk up to full alert. During a marathon, Paula Radcliffe found this out when stomach cramps started to hinder her performance. Wow. She ended up popping a squat behind a bush, but the cameras <coughs> were there to broadcast oh, the marathoner in a compromising situation. <laughs> Luckily, she was oh able my to God. the marathon okay. and totally, totally redeemed totally redeem herself. herself. There's nothing more embarrassing than popping a squat phones. in a race in between bushes while cameras are rolling. Not only do mobile phones hinder That's our eyesight, but they may also be responsible for anxiety amongst teenagers. Studies have shown that teenagers spend so much time on their smartphones to the point they become addictive, addictive or, or obsessive. Oh, People addictive that show or obsessive. an obsessive yeah. need for their smartphone also show signs of depression and anxiety. On the flip oh. side, when these same people are put in situations mm. of high stress and they have their smartphones, they are actually shown to be less sensitive to the stress. It shows that their well, phones yeah. act as a way to comfort, comfort them from them. the stressful, stressful world, world around them. Yeah, that's true. Lamps. Lamps. Really? We use lamps and lights every day and every hour exactly. of the day without even that's thinking I'm... about the impact it may have on the planet. You probably don't even know that your streetlights, street lights, nightlights, or the light from a skyscraper sky can even can have, have a global, global impact. impact. How? It turns out that after billions of years creating a day and night cycle, we have destroyed the cycle by lighting things up every hour of the day over the past 100 years. What? Because what of this, we have thrown off migration patterns, hunting patterns, oh. and schedules for predators and our no, own sleeping, sleeping patterns. patterns. Lights okay. also cause lower melatonin levels, which have a link to increased instances of breast cancer. Wow, that's crazy. Do you agree with this list? Leave us a comment down below and share your opinions with us. That is crazy. It seems like humans have done damage to the earth over a couple hundred years. But I'm like, before there were like lamps that we have now, I mean, there were like like um lanterns that people like lit matches and stuff but i guess that wouldn't really affect it i don't know i don't know there's probably there's a lot of different like things that go on like with every new piece of technology but that's crazy that is crazy it's like we can't really do much without putting our bodies at risk what do you think leave it in the comment section below hopefully y'all enjoyed that video because i know i did remember to smash that like button leave a comment subscribe share and until next time it's your boy rc sign out with much love Peace.